Father God protect we two troubles and trials from these vampires. Is it? So Queen Africa is letting everyone know that she is not backing down. She will always stand up for our country, stand up for love, unity and peace. Now as she talk about, you know, persons on social media that is going around and tarnish her name because of the right that she is doing for her own self and our country and for our descendants. Now guys as she share our thoughts about these things, I want you to leave in the comment section what you think about what Queen Africa have to say. You guys see what them doing to my name, to my reputation, simply because I've decided to not talk about helping Jamaica anymore, but I'm standing up now fully with no care what they want to do or what they want to say. Now, since I put out that video that everyone is forming a view and an opinion of, I've gotten many, many threats, all types of different strange calls, but none of it have perturbed me. That video that I just shared with that little dreadlocks person talking about my traumas, She's working for, for, for Chief Richard Curry and the people that I am talking about who need to bring back the things that belong to the natives of Jamaica that England made the blood oath with. England made a blood oath with the Trelawney Town Flagstaff Maroons, right? Who are the natives of this land, Jamaica, alongside us, the nationals, the natives, the sovereign and indigenous people of this country. And I am putting this out there to say that the reason why they are all coming down on me is because they don't want you guys to understand that the peace and the unity that we are asking for in Jamaica is possible if they all do the right thing and the right thing is to bring back Richard Curry bring back the documents to the Flagstaff Chilani Town Maroon so that Jamaica can be the peaceful place that it was so that we can have this peaceful country and we don't have any wars in the world we can stop the war in the world if we do the unity right now and there are documents to prove that here on this island and there are people here who can make that arrangement for that to happen and this is why they are coming down on me so much because they are all benefiting from selling you guys out and keeping you in the state of mind that you are in and if we don't seriously stand up as a people not just to say we're standing up on a political side or on a maroon side. We're standing up as a united country, as a people, to say no more to these demagogues of Satans that are set up over our country to rule over us and to, and to have us not serve God anymore, the God in us anymore, the true and living creator who made us all in the image that we are in, in all our differences. And Jamaica plays the biggest role in all of it. And now is the time for us who know the truth as Jamaican nationals to stand up and say that our culture is real. We as a people are real. The indigenous people of Jamaica are real. And we are asking those who have been supporting the ideas of our colonizers to leave us alone now and let us rebuild a constitution that will benefit and facilitate all the needs of all of us as a country and not just the needs that you guys want to have us continue to follow and to destroy minds of our children and young people and our people by extension so where i'm at right now we're asking from a peaceful place as the ambassador of the flagstaff um of the chilani town flagstaff maroons we're asking that those who have taken the documents from the community to bring them back to the community so that we can have the proper negotiations 
that we need to have with the proper people in the world so that Jamaica can once and for all have the kind of defense. And all of those who are listening, they know what I'm talking about. And I put this up here today to tell that little Rasta girl that is talking about my traumas, Tony Rebel abused me and and um, Derek Morgan raped me because they did not want this truth. The devil did not want these truths to be revealed. And so that is why I would have gone through all of those dark days in my life so that I could have survived them now to come sit on social media and to let you guys know that I am fully well, I am complete, I am whole in front of the Creator. And I am ready to use my voice at its loudest to speak on behalf of a country that I know is directly connected to the Creator of all things and not the devil. And I am just here who know that we were not all slaves on this island and that there is a real Jamaica here that everyone is lining up to rule over and to turn away from God, whether by will or by force. And we're saying no more. We, the official, original, ex american people, love the creator. The indigenous and sovereign people of this land love the creator. If you're going to build a new country based off citizenship, it must be citizens that love this land for what God has intended it to be. The place that would advance the whole human race. So, let me tell you something for those who are concerned. I am well and I am not going to stop until the truth of my country is revealed without the negatives of the system. And I'm not going to promise anyone that I won't be using a full guile every now and again depending and what I'm addressing. Because also, those curse words were a part of how we expressed ourselves in the time of trouble. They did not want that cotton tree down at Pakiti to be revealed. They did not want because that cotton tree is the proof that peace can be in the world. And that is what we're aiming for. Peace in Jamaica peace in the world peace in our households peace in our maroon communities unity real unity in our maroon communities so richard curry you can't threaten me with your little rasta friends they would have to do more research about me and the struggle i've gone through to stand for this country and to know that it is worth it to use my voice as loud as i can for this country because this country has made me who i am a very strong, free, melanated woman who loves the Almighty Creator and know that we can do things differently. So right now, I am standing in 100% support with the Trelawney Town Maroons of Flagstaff to say that they are the rightful Maroons of Jamaica. They are the Maroons that the that England made a, made a treaty with. And so if you're going to have a, a reform of a constitution, those are the maroons that you need to be talking to. Those are the, the, the maroons that you need to be talking to if you really want to change Jamaica for better. And if you really love all Jamaicans and not just some Jamaicans and the Jamaicans that you all are oppressing are the true owners of the land and it's because they don't know because you didn't educate them in the masses that's why we are the way we are down here and the people don't think that they have any right and that they should follow anyone that comes along that tell them that they love them and that they have their best wishes at heart and we are here to rebut it and to debunk it and to say you guys are wicked and you need to stop now and give the people a chance to be how God intended them to be. I will not be perturbed by no propaganda that you guys try to start against me. Because I made sure that as, I, as loud as I was in my private life, 
I am in my public life. And I did what I was supposed to do in my private life so that I could be this loud in my public life. So you guys can bring it all on because it has just begun and I'm just begging my Jamaican people to not let them let you kill each other, not let them let you start an unnecessary riot because they're looking for a reason to shoot you. They're looking for a reason to say they had to do it because you guys got over eaten and started a riot and then so they had to shoot you up let us continue to hold it i am over here i'm looking for reputable people who truly love and are national citizens and i said when i say national citizen i mean national of jamaica not just a citizen who have the well wishes of this country at heart to please come forward and let us bring the people to book who continue to stand in the way of our justice, our equality, our equal rights, the real human rights before them kill off any other Jamaicans. So I am just putting this out there to say we are here and we are not perturbed and we're just getting started and at peace and unity we say we are doing it for. And anyone who is not on board with it is not a Jamaican national. And they don't know the history that we have here. Have a brand new beautiful day. Eh? And look out. My life is literally threatened. I'm not lying to you guys. I've gotten threats since I put out that video. But because I trust the almighty creator. And I know that I'm not malicious in my intent. I know that we can have peace without bloodshed in this country. And all the stakeholders can come together at the table and revisit the 1738 treaty contract with England that the Trilani town Maroon signed off on so that the true Maroons can stand in front of Jamaica so that all the Maroon communities can be united so that Jamaica by extension can be united and so that the world can be united and Africa can stand proud that as a people, we victoriously worked out our differences because there was a mean and a way to do it. And we're not going to give up on our ancestors' will because the system said so. And here we go. Richard Curry, I know I am not running from you guys. You need to come to Flagstaff, Chilani Town, to reason with the elders about how we can unite the Maroon communities and put the correct documents where they are supposed to be. Yeah, man. Is that?